Hello and welcome to another Varsity video. My name is Karthik Rangappa. Let's assume your point of view on a stock is bullish and you want to leverage your point of view by setting up an options trade. What is it that you will do? Will you buy a call option or would you prefer to sell a put option? By the way, I'm assuming that you're familiar with options. If not, I would suggest you view all the videos that we've posted on options. The link to that is posted in the description below. To buy a call option, you need to pay a premium. Whereas to sell a put option, you need to park margins. However, you'll also get premium when you sell the option. Although the risk and reward profile for both these trades vary, you will be profitable only if the stock moves up. If the stock moves up, the premium for the call option increases and the premium for the put option would decrease. So any which way, you will end up making money. But the question is, what trade will you choose? The decision to buy a call option or sell a put option when you're bullish or for that example, the decision to buy a put option and sell a call option when you're bearish really depends on three factors. And these three factors are the delta, vega and the theta of the option. Let's deal with the delta first. Delta, as you know, is the rate of change of option premium with respect to the change in the underlying prices. Now to figure out if you want to be an option buyer or a seller, it's extremely important for you to quantify the extent of the move that you are expecting. Now the question is how do you quantify? There are multiple ways to quantify the extent of the move that you are expecting. Let me give you one simple example using which you can start quantifying the rate of change of underlying that you are expecting. Assume that the stock price that you are looking at has been declining for a while. And right at the end of the decline, the stock forms a hammer. Let's say the hammer forms at 100. After the decline, you expect the stock price to increase because a hammer is a bullish pattern. Let's assume that you expect the stock price to move up to the nearest resistance, which probably let's say is at 107. Therefore, you would want to be a buyer of the stock at 100 with an expectation to sell the stock at 107. This translates to a 7% up move. Now that we've quantified the up move that we are expecting, let's look at the options. Let's assume there are three options. Option 1, a 100 call, which is trading at let's say 8 rupees. Then we have a 100 put, which is also trading at 8 rupees. Then let's say we have a 105 call, which is trading at let's say 5 rupees. Now, if we want to buy a 100 call option, a break even for this will be 100 plus the premium that we are paying, which is 8 rupees. Therefore, at 108, we would be breaking even. If we choose to buy the 105 call option, then the break even for this would be 105, which is the strike, plus the 5 rupee premium that we are paying. Therefore, at 110, we would be breaking even. Now, obviously, it doesn't make sense to buy any of these options because the up move that we are expecting is only 7%. Now, why would you want to buy an option whose break-even is much higher than the up move that you are expecting? Now, this is a situation where you would rather prefer to sell a put option rather than buying a call option. Let's look at Vega next. Vega, as you know, is the rate of change of option premium with respect to volatility. Generally speaking, option premiums increase with an increase in volatility and the option premium tends to decrease with a decrease in volatility. So before you decide to take a trade, which is either to buy a call or sell a put option, it is extremely important for you to develop a sense of where the volatility will be before you take the trade and also where the volatility is headed after you take the trade. Now, here's a simple thumb rule I would suggest you keep in mind before you set up your options trade. Now, before you take the trade, if the volatility is up, 
and after you take the trade you expect the volatility to come down then this is a situation where you are better off writing a put option rather than buying a call option now this is fairly simple because before you take the trade the volatility is high which means the premiums are already elevated and after you take the trade the volatility is expected to come down therefore with the decline in volatility the option premium erodes and hence you're better off selling a put option rather than buying a call option another scenario before you take the trade assume the volatility is low and after you take the trade you expect the volatility to increase now this is a situation where you are better off buying a call rather than selling a put now here's a bigger question how do you actually figure out whether the volatility now is on the higher side or the lower side before you take the trade and after you take the trade now one easy method is to compare the current volatility in the market which is also the implied volatility with the historical volatility and develop a sense of where the volatility is and will be after you take the trade of course this is not the best method but this is the easiest method gives you a quick and dirty way of comparing volatility and get a sense of where it's likely to go so that's with the delta and vega next up is theta probably the easiest greek to understand theta is fairly straightforward generally speaking more time to expiry it is okay to buy an option i'm not saying you should buy an option it is okay to buy an option and less time to expiry you're better off selling an option rather than buying an option consider this this is the start of the expiry and this is where the expiry happens let's assume this is halfway through the mark probably this is the 15th of the month which is roughly the halfway through to your expiry if your trade idea originates somewhere in the first half of the series somewhere in this part you are okay to buy an option i'm not saying you should buy an option but you're okay to buy an option however if your trade idea originates in the second half of the series that's somewhere here you are better off selling the put option right now none of these three things that's the vega delta and theta should be looked at isolation whenever you get a trade idea combine views from all the greeks the delta vega and theta and then finally figure out whether you want to be a buyer or a seller of option i hope you found this video useful we will be back with another market related video soon